Hey YouTube, this is your girl Queen Day, and today I will be explaining the USPS hiring process. Um, bear with me, I am new to YouTube. This is my very first video, um, and welcome to my channel. So on my channel, you know, I'll be explaining, uh, you know, what I do, um, move in. Uh, I recently was paying $500 rent when I accepted this position for USPS. Now I'm paying $1,400 rent. Um, so just different things about my life and things like that. Um, if y'all got any questions, you know, just let me know in the comments and I'll try to answer all of them. Um, but back to USPS, um, I am a PSE mail processing clerk. So um, I applied back in May. Now, mind you, this is a three month hiring process. So don't think you're just going to get the job, apply, and then they're going to call you next week. No, that's what I thought, but this is not how that works. So I applied back in May. It was May 20th. Um, I remember it like it was yesterday. And um, that same day I took a test. I think it was like the 476 test. Um, and I scored 100 on it. I don't know why I keep seeing. So I was looking at a few videos on YouTube and I was seeing that um, people were saying like uh, they, have, they have to pay for the test. USPS will not make you pay for anything. Any job should not make you pay for a test or anything. So please do not spend your money trying to pay for a test or study for this test or whatever it's not that hard um like i said i got 100 on it no problem so a week later i got an email um from them saying that i need to get fingerprinted so um i emailed i had to email this uh somebody to you know set up to get fingerprinted so i got fingerprinted a week later now mind you i'm still thinking that they're gonna call me back um you know like a week later no 30 days later, that's when they emailed me a accept or decline letter. So now it's been what, a month, two months that I've been in this process. So of course I accepted the position. Um, and then once I accepted the position, you know, um, they gave me like a congratulations or something like that. Um, so when was that, the end of June? So then like a few days later, um, I'm still waiting. So they finally sent a, you know, welcome aboard, um, orientation will be on this day. So they gave me two dates that I could do orientation. So it worked out perfectly because I wanted to give my job a month notice. Um, that way they'll give, enough, give them enough time to find somebody to replace me. So my previous job, I was a general manager at Zaxby's and I did that for about six or seven years. And it was, the craziest experience working for Zaxby's. Um, and I'll probably do another video on that. But today, you know, I'll be talking about USPS. So um, they gave me two orientation dates. So of course I took the one that was a month later. Um, so my official hire date was July 30th. So I applied back in May, um, May 20th. And I didn't get officially, my official start date was July 30th. Um, but my official, which was on a Thursday, I, I meant not on a Thursday, what am I talking about? Was on a Saturday. Um, but my orientation date was August 1st, was on that Monday. Um, because USPS, I think their pay period starts on a Saturday. So that's why I officially got hired on a Saturday. And then I had orientation on that Monday. So orientation was two and a half days. And it was so boring. It don't tell you nothing about the job, literally nothing about what you're going to be doing. It tells you stuff about USPS, but nothing like... What do I remember from orientation? Nothing. So literally is like orientation was pointless to me. Um, dressed business casual. I had on jeans and a nice shirt and some, some shoes. Um, bring a jacket because it can get cold. It was about 40 of us. We were split up into two classrooms. Um, but it wasn't just PSEs in there. It was uh, CCAs and RCAs. It was pretty much everybody. Um, but it was just one big orientation. Um, and it was, we looked at it on Zoom and it was orientation, like orientations everywhere, like people in Pennsylvania, people in New York, people like we was all in the classroom looking at this video on Zoom. Like I said, it was so boring. So that last day, they do give you an hour break. So you're there for eight hours, you get an hour break. And um, yeah, so that last day, it's a day and a half. So you're there from like eight to 12, you get an hour, um, no, you don't get an hour lunch. So they tell you to go on lunch, but then after you go on lunch, you're supposed to go straight to your station. So they tell you where you're going. Um, so after I came back from lunch, I probably took like 20, 30 minutes because I didn't want to take too long. Um, but on that last day, I did wear jeans and a shirt, t-shirt, because I didn't know if I was going to be working or not. 
Um, they say you're required to wear jeans and a t-shirt and um, leather shoes if you're, you know, a mail processing clerk. If you're a carrier, you know, that's a different uniform or, you know, window clerk. Different uniform. But for my position, t-shirt, jeans, and leather shoes. So when I got there, um, my supervisor, really cool, really cool. He asked me, uh, you know, what days am I available? When can I start? I'm like, shoot, you know, I want the money so I can start tomorrow. So he asked me, can I be there tomorrow at 3? So I'm like, yeah, I could be there tomorrow at 3, you know, because I'm like, okay, 3 in the morning, y'all, not 3 p.m., 3 in the morning. So um, I'm like, that's cool. So my schedule ended up being, <laughs> I work six days a week. Uh, my schedule is 3 a.m. to whatever time I get off. Um, I say whatever time I get off because it's always, in my station, there's always something to do. So um, I do get overtime in my station. Um, it, you know, some people don't. Some people don't want overtime. Me, if, you know, they need help with letters or something, which I'll go into detail. If they need help with something, I'm going to stay there and work. Um, but my usual schedule is 3 a.m. I probably stay till about 11 or 12. It just depends. Some days, 1 o'clock. Um, but my station is cool. Like, I've been hearing other people's stations and stuff like that. Um, you don't get overtime or, you know, they might not work you as much. That's them. But I love where I'm at. So, um, it's a difference between a plant and a station. So a plant is is a it's like a distribution center. The station where I'm at is is like smaller. So um, I'm getting the mail out for the carriers that's about to go on the street. So I throw about two thousand and three thousand boxes, which is called parcels, there a day. Um, and I'll upload a video real quick of my station and what I do. And you know it is physical work. You might lift some heavy boxes. Um, I done lost like three or four pounds. Like literally, this is my workout, y'all. Like at USPS, uh, <laughs> this is your workout. As a mail processing clerk now, that's my position. So don't think you're just going to get in there and it's going to be easy work. No, you. this is my workout. I don't have to go to the gym. I have a gym now in my apartment. Pool and all that. I don't have to do anything but go to work. Um, so like I said, I work six days a week. Um, I get one day off. My day was... Today, Sunday, was my day off. Um, so, you know, I got the meal prep and everything else. So, that's what I try doing now, meal prepping. Because getting up at 2 in the morning to get there, you know, get to work by 3. Um, your appetite, everything is weird. So, starting out, like, it was so weird. Like, getting my sleep schedule down packed and everything like that. Um, it's just weird. So, like I said, every station is different. But where I'm at right now, I work 3 a.m., to you know kind of whatever time i get off um pretty much i think that's it i'll upload a video um real quick of like i said my station and what i do if y'all have any questions or anything that i didn't go over um just comment below and i'll you know try to answer everything um i will be posting another video um with probably like a one month update um i've been working there for about three weeks now i did get my first paycheck and like i said my paycheck was really nice it definitely was more than what i was making as a general manager as Axby. so that says a lot um but like i said if y'all got any questions um just let me know and i'm about to upload the video so this right here y'all is um my station and you see all the green they call them hampers, and those are all the different routes that I have to throw to. And right there is my scanner. So that's how I scan each package for each parcel. And after I scan each parcel, um, I throw it into the hamper. Um, I'll post another video of, you know, y'all seeing me throw them into the hampers and then through the bins. All right, y'all, so this is the video. I just kind of sped it up of uh, me throwing the parcels into the different routes. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I do. I'm 3 in the morning to probably about 9 o'clock. I'm usually finished by, and then I'll go somewhere else and help out where there's that help out letters and stuff like that. That little pause was I threw a box into the wrong route, so I had to go get it and put it into the correct route. But yeah, y'all got any questions? Um, just let me know. Comment below.